Oh, this is your boy, Mr. Pound for Pound. We just saw an upset. Chris Algieri upsets Ruslan Provodnikov. They just announced it. Um, I was saying it during the fight that, hey, Algieri was outboxing Provodnikov, even though if you go back and listen to my other part of this, I said that the HBO commentators were giving Provodnikov a lot of credit, even though Algieri was boxing very well. Um... Wow, he gets the split decision victory over Ruslan Provodnikov, swollen eye and all. Amazing. Andre Ward, your thoughts on that decision? Jim, I gotta watch it again. Uh, obviously, the you know the, the early deficit that Algeria had to overcome is very difficult, but I personally felt like he put on a boxing clinic for the majority of this fight. I gotta watch it again to see if he officially won. I felt like, you know, I'm not shocked by this decision. I put it like that. So in other words, you had a sense as I did all along that official scores might not be as wide as what Steve Weissfeld was giving his competition. Fans are going nuts. Everybody in the arena is going nuts. Algeria's fans are going nuts. Algeria is the new champion. Depends, like you said, on how it does the fight. Max Deluca duplicated Weissfeld's unofficial scorecard. The other two scorers both wound up. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. I mean, you know, watching the fight, Provodnikov did some good damage early. He has the popular fighter style of come forward, throw a lot of punches, bang, bang, bang. But to be honest, I saw a lot of boxing by Chris Algieri. He's landed a lot of shots. He was moving a lot. Um, You know, this this decision could have went either way to me. What did you just ask me? Can I answer some of your questions, Max? And then some. Congratulations on a sensational performance and an improbable win after that first round. You're on the deck, your eye is closing, what's going through your mind when moments into the fight, you're knocked down? You know, Max, uh, this has been a surreal week for me. <laughs> me and my, uh, my, my trainer almost got into a car accident earlier in the week. Someone actually drove us off the road. And it was funny, my heart rate didn't even go up. I felt like that walking in here today and at that moment when I was on the deck. My heart rate didn't even go up. You look like you got into a, a car wreck, but you got off the deck to box extremely well. Did you think you were winning the fight? Yeah, I did. I did. I um, Even the shots I was getting hit with in the first you know, four rounds, they were few and far between. They were big, but they were lunging shots. He caught me on the end of the punches. Really, the only shot that hurt me was that first shot. How were you able to do what you did with one eye for most of the fight? I could actually see pretty well out of the eye until about round eight, um, and then round twelve I was fucking blind. Excuse my, excuse me. I was blind in the twelve. And yet you were able to avoid a lot of those hooks that he seemed to try to bring up from nowhere, so you couldn't see them. How'd you do that? I, I kind of anticipated them. I, I, I saw him coming forward, and um, you know I, I knew the eye looked. Probably I haven't seen it. I'm seeing it right now. I know it probably looked pretty bad. The Ruslan probably looked like a nice juicy steak for him. So uh, I saw in his eyes when he was ready to throw that, that, that left hook, so I was already able to obey. Okay, working class kid, lives with his family on Long Island, no amateur background, fights Ruslan Provodnikov, gets off the deck twice in the first round with your eye like this and goes on to win. What did you just show the boxing world? I showed the boxing world to Chris Algeria. And what does he have planned? What do you want going forward? It's funny, I have not thought past this day or this moment for months. I don't even know what, you know, June 15th even it looks like. So I guess I'll uh, get some rest, ice my eye, and see what's up. How does that feel, by the way, before he gets to Ruslan, with that strap around your shoulder here in Brooklyn, close enough to your hometown? Can't get much closer. Smiling on HBO. As heavy as this damn thing is, and the feeling. <laughs> thanks, and thanks for a spectacular showing.